Hello friends, welcome. In this video we are going to install the plugin and if you go here to the filament PHP and in the plugins and I'm going to add a filter by Spotty and here as you can see we have one filament authentication here which has user role resource management. We have also this one which is a uh, shield roles and permission and I had a comment here why I'm not I'm not using this one because in the previous video I said I'm going to use this one here and if we see uh, this has more stars than this one but I'm not going to use either this one or this one I'm going to use the spotty roles and permission and I'm going to create myself the resources because this uh, plugin is just going to create resources as you can see for the spotty permission so let's go to the spotty permission package and i'm going to go in inside the documentation and let's install in laravel let's copy this command and i'm going to navigate in our project Okay, let's open the terminal and paste that command in, hit enter, then we need to run the PHP artisan vendor publish. Okay, after this one, optimize clear. And the last one is to say PHP artisan migrate. So let's say this one. Very good. Now, what I'm going to do, if you go uh, basic usage, first we need to add the has user, has roles in the user model. And let's do that. So let's open the user model. And in here, add the trait has uh, roles. And make sure you import the trait here from spotty permission traits as a role. Let's save and let's close this one. Then to create a role, we need to say role create name and give it the name. Also the same for permission, permission create. And we need to, add to specify the name. And what I'm going to do if we go in our project and inside the database seeders here i'm going to create one role which is the super admin role or just admin you can say let's say only admin i'm going to create this one here and let's import the role from spotty permissions permission models role also i'm going to create a user so that i'm going to uncomment this and the name of the user is going to be just admin and let's say here admin example.com now the password is password if you go inside the factories user factory here we have the password which is with this hash string which is returning the password okay so now we have created the user and let me remove this one and import the user model app models user and i'm going to assign a user variable to this one and we have the user we have the role i'm going to assign the role admin so let's say admin to this one to this user so let's say dollar sign user assign role dollar sign role okay and if you go here uh, using permissions via roles yeah here we have user assign role and give it a name in this case i'm going to say role because we have the role here 
or you can say just admin. And with that now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to refresh the database. So I'm going to delete the user and create this one user, create the role and assign this role to the to this user. So let's say here, artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed. Okay. Now, if I open the project, which is this one, and let's navigate in the slash admin, we need to log in with this user. So the admin example.com, let's copy that. And let's uh, add the password. And yeah, here we are. That's okay. But if I'm going to create another one and let's say this is going to be user one and let's create another one down there who is going to be the user two. And this user two is just going to be a test user and also a test here. And I'm going to assign the role admin only to the user one. Okay. And for this one, we don't need to assign it here with a variable, so just create another one here. Let's save and let's run again the PHP artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed. Come here and refresh. We are logged in, let's sign out and let's log in again. But let's try login with this one. So as a test example.com and add the password. And yeah, we are here. So we can, if we create another user, we are going to ask to access this admin. To prevent this one, let's navigate in the filament PHP and not inside the plugins, but in the documentation. And uh, here we have the users and authorizing access to the admin panel. We need to add the implements filament user in the user model and create this uh, method inside. So only the user who has the admin, which ends with something like this and has verified the email is going to access that. And let's uh, do that. So let's copy this and let's say implements filament user. So let's navigate in the user model again, let's say implements filament user. Okay. And down there, I'm going to create that method. And now let's say where this email ends with, uh, we don't need to say with example.com because both of them has example.com. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to say return and remove everything only if this, which is user, has the role and the name of the role is admin. And let's save this now. Let's navigate back and let's refresh. And now we have forbidden. Let's uh, log out. So I'm going to go to the application filament and let's clear. And let's log in now with the admin user. So again, I'm going to remember this now admin example.com. And add the password. And let's say sign in and with the admin we have access to the dashboard okay friends now only the admin user we hit, which is this one we created with a seeder so whenever we are going to install this project we are going to run the artisan seed and create these two users or you can remove this one and create only this one but i just created this to show you 
only the admin user which we are we given this role has access to the admin panel right now okay friends so that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much